Although it seemed that woke liberal SJW Disney is continuing to have more and more and more problems with rides breaking down, and it seems to be a growing pattern of guests being stranded in many of these cases of their rides breaking down. Because I said before that they clearly are lacking to call in the proper maintenance people to actually, you know, take a look at this kind of stuff. Because you have rides that open, you know, and then a few days after opening, they have they're, they're breaking down already. You know, and any any you know person with common sense, and anybody who has a, you know has any kind of experience fixing things would know that pretty much the lack of maintenance is the main culprit here. Which is a, a kind of odd that a multi-billion-dollar company can't really be bothered to you know get proper maintenance on their rides. But hey, you know this right here just adds to the growing list of examples of the results of that failure to you know uh, you know care about the, the safety of their guests. But it says here on Inside the Magic. Cast members dessert ride leave ter uh, dessert ride sorry leave terrified guests locked under lap bars. Yeah, real nice there, real nice. I mean, you're, you're already paying for the roof just to get a ticket, and then you know the ride you you know breaks down, and you wonder why people are flocking to Universal. It says on the article, grab your virtual queue or individual lightning lane, head up to the. El Capitoon Theater in Disneyland Park for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Disney Disney Resorts, Disneyland Resorts newest attraction. The ride opened last month after years of successful operation at the Chinese Theater in Disney's Hollywood Studios at Walt Disney World Resort, the former home of the great movie ride. So I, I did a video about this, I believe about this ride uh, not long ago, and you know, this ride is nearly open and already having problems with, you know, breaking down and that kind of stuff. But continuing on the article, unfortunately, fans report Disneyland Park version, the Disneyland Park version of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, is experiencing frequent breakdowns and HVAC issues that have become dangerous for some guests. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, man. And, and and the embarrassing thing is the fact that this is a newly opened ride and we're already having these kind of problems. That is pretty embarrassing to say. I mean, to put it lightly. Says in the article this week, a group of guests sat horrified as they pulled up uh, to the exit of Mickey and Minnie's runaway, sorry, runaway, and realized that no cast members were present. They were seconds from leaving the ride, but remained locked up under lap bars. And they shared a video from the incident. Yeah, you know, great, great, you know, experience that is worth all the money you paid. You know, because or I mean, the price is just to go to the Disney World is already just insanely through the roof. I mean, you're pretty much emptying out your wallet, but. You know, this is the kind of experience they get. But hey, you know, the woke, liberal, multi-billion dollar company apparently can't afford proper maintenance, seems like, or doesn't bother to call in proper maintenance. You know, got, or I'll put it this way, call in uh, repairmen to do maintenance. Because again, any person with common sense knows that the lack of maintenance is the culprit here. It says in the article, it is unknown whether this incident occurred at Disneyland Park or Disney's Hollywood Studios. However, the, cre the uh, creator confirmed in the comments that the guests were trapped under, under the lap bars. Uh, remember that Disney cast members work hard to keep guests safe and were likely handling high the, a high priority situation when they left their positions at the exit of the Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Yeah, I need to point this out too. You know, no no harm on, you know, I mean, obviously no, you know, no, nothing hard on the cast members, obviously, because, you know, all these cast members, they are giving it all they've got. So I'm not, don't take this as me attacking the cast members. See, because, you know, it's the management that's the problem. You see, you know, the cast members are doing everything they've got. I mean, like I've always said too that the cast members are what you know makes disney world what it is you know they're, they're the ones that make it uh that great experience it's the management that's the problem so don't take this as an attack on the cast members and if you're a cast member watching this i'm not attacking you it's it's pretty much your higher ups there screwing this place over and you know unfortunately sometimes the cast members get the brunt of it too so anyway i wanted to point that out uh this is just a constant problem seems like just every single you know every, every like most of the time we'll have some new ride that opens and then like a few days later it's already breaking down it's pretty embarrassing but hey you know it seems that woke liberal sjw disney is barely even a shadow of of its former self or what it once used to be you know it seems that the uh the cartoon rodent is sadly a dying rat i'll put it that way so anyway may the grace of our lord jesus christ be with all the brethren goodbye